Well, good morning to all of you. We're now into chapter two. And you know what? We got over 100,000. Uh, wish it could have been a little more, but it isn't. But that's okay. We got a fair bit of honey here that we need to uh, go and sell as well. But I figured before we do that, we should maybe just kind of do a recap of what the season, uh, well, last season has all brought us. So we do have our beehives here, 132 hives. Right now, they don't seem to be producing too much, which understandable. We've got two grain wagons. We've got a flat deck wagon. All very nice. We have got three tractors. All in tip-top shape. And, as if not to be forgotten, we have a combine just around the corner here. There you go, the Case 1440 is right here. Beautiful, beautiful. And the header here, yeah, you guys will remember from last season we had quite the fight to figure out what kind of header we needed to put on there. And then we got, uh, you know, a forage wagon here, we got a mower, we got the rake, we got a sprayer, a couple of different little tools here and there. Right now it's winter time, so I'm kind of just relaxing a little bit. Not really taking things too seriously. Not really pushing too much work. I know there's a cultivating job out there, but I'm not uh, too intrigued on it. I believe that was to, for field 9, and that is a fair size field, so I'm not going to attempt that right now. You can see we've also got a fair bit of sunflower seed, a fair bit of corn, and what I imagine is wheat. So there's a bit of grains to get us going once we actually start having animals. At some point I'll be putting up grain bins somewhere and uh, we'll be loading all the grains into a grain bin but for today, for now, it's okay in the shed. But you know, speaking of animals, we could go and get some cattle again but I feel like that's a lot of work and there's uh, a lot to get ready for. So I figured instead of doing that, why don't we start with something a little smaller? And I'm going to show you what I'm uh, looking at here. So we go to animals. Now there's cows, there's horses, pigs, sheep, and chicken and bees. And me personally, I'm thinking that chickens is probably the way to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to highlight the chicken and we're going to go see what we have for options. Um, you can get just a little free range fencing like this. No shelter or anything. You can get a little chicken barn with a little silo. Um, we got this uh, old, old barn here. It's Looks like it'd be something probably made in a Eastern European country, I would assume. Yeah, so, and this is an even smaller one. Also, yeah, you can even see from down here, bricks exposed through the stucco. So yeah, a really old barn, relatively cheap. And then finally we have the, uh, the red barn. And this one is fairly big. Um, comes at around $45,000 and this is what I am thinking we will be buying and I was kind of humming and hawing about where I wanted to put it because I did a fair bit of thinking before I went and bought this and to me it looks like this corner right here uh, would probably be ideal so what I want to do I just want to make sure that we have room all around I don't want to interfere with our field there but I do want to make sure we have room for the the trigger point. For I think right there is probably a good spot to put it. And we can hear a bit of chickens clucking in the background. Okay, well, why don't we take a look, see what we got. So you'll see the uh, grain bin right here. Uh, no snow on the ground yet, but that'll happen. Um, there's plenty of room here to grab skids of eggs. Should be fairly easy to get in and out with a tractor. In the background here, this is where we do our animal dialogue. So this is where we're going to be buying all of our chickens. 
we can choose either uh, really young chickens or ones that are ready for laying and we can also get a rooster they liven up the chicken coop they say and it's a brand new young rooster so this barn is good for 500 chickens I want to see if I can actually get inside that's what I'm really curious about there we go look at that a nice brick uh, it's a nice brick uh, foundation I'm not sure what the wheel does but I imagine it opens up the hatch on the top no actually the, there's a cable that goes along the ceiling so that wheel probably lifts up these feeders if you need a muck out yeah that would, that would make sense and then we got our uh, little boxes for the hens to lay their eggs in beautiful really well designed barn I have to say and it does look like it has lights inside I do not see a switch yet I'm sure it will show up somewhere just need to find it and they got little holes in the uh, foundation for the chickens to walk outside into their their uh, grazing area and we can take a look at that as well so that'll be right in here nicely fenced off keeps the coyotes away keeps the skunks and raccoons and whatnot away doesn't look like there's any way for me to walk through here which is fine now as far as what the chickens need to eat uh, I do believe that wheat is their primary food source so what we're gonna do we're gonna go check the menu real quick and see what we can find so I'm in the uh, help menu here and we're looking under chickens and it says they eat wheat barley and sorghum they produce eggs they reach maturity at six months which is pretty much standard pallet of eggs will appear next to our chicken coop and we put them into our car with a forklift or you know with a tractor you can put them on a wagon whatever it is you need to do and a rooster is not necessary for reproduction it just livens up the coop so there we go uh, we should see what kind of grain we have and uh, maybe see if we can dump some right here on the uh, trigger point why don't we do that let's go get the uh, super M and see if we can do something here well I guess here goes nothing we'll uh, see if we can get some wheat scooped up here and if it is indeed wheat it actually looks like oats honestly so this might not really work for us no that's definitely oats okay you know it's okay if that's oats because what I'll do instead <laughs> you can see my tractor just sliding down um, if it is indeed oats I might just uh, scoop some of this stuff up and go and sell it you know maybe uh, take an old auger or something and put it in there and see if we can't get the oats sold although oats would be nice for horses I have to admit but we don't have horses do we uh, doesn't really help us never really would have thought that Texas would be so snowy but you know climate change and all that we do have a couple of uh, cheap old augers here and I'm thinking you know let's just go with the cheapest one we don't need anything fancy so we'll grab the John Deere and I am hopeful that this thing is going to do what I want it to do um, actually no I don't think that the John Deere is going to work I think the versatile has this option yes you can see how it doesn't have the uh, the bowl at the bottom where that auger is I need it to be without a bowl and it is only twenty five hundred dollars so that's all right okay now next step is going to be to bring that auger home and uh, we shall put it into our shed there with the oats and we'll load up a couple of wagons and bring them bring them somewhere to sell see what we can get for them here we go I got one uh, package of uh, chicken feed <laughs> and uh, yes it's uh, quite heavy shall we say and then we have this auger as well you can see right now it does not have the uh, the hopper at the bottom 
for obvious reasons, we want to just poke it straight into the oats. And I do think I am going to have to lower my loader just a wee bit more to get that weight a little further on the ground. The hopper is actually found right on the frame of that auger, by the way. So I got a ways to go back home. I am going to put my way over back home and we'll see you guys there. Alright, so we got our auger more or less in place. Uh, I want to enter said auger here. And uh, we're going to start, even though it has no engine, we're, we're going to have to assume that we can start it. And what I'm going for here, I'm trying to get it sort of in the middle of the pile. There we go. Now, why the... Uh, the old H is here is because most of the time with these old augers what you would see is that these tractors would be hooked up to the PTO sort of like this there you go and uh, we can jump out of there we'll jump back in the M the tractor is running so now, hopefully, if we've done our job correctly, we should be able to get this auger going. Let's bring our wagon underneath and see what happens. Hopefully we did this the right way. Oh, and uh, problem number one. Alrighty. I'm going to have to jump on that H again. And uh, let's, let's just lift that auger up a little bit. Perfect. Now, let's get back and see if we can do that a little better. When you have this overhead view, it gets a little complicating, doesn't it? Okay. Now, if uh, everything works proper, then this should be working. <laughs> Oh, sorry, unfold conveyor belt, my bad. That puts the hopper on there, though. I don't know if I need that. Here, here we go. That says it's starting it. And my M is sliding around. I don't know if you guys can see this, but my M is going nuts again. Does it just need to find a good spot, or what's the deal here? Should be working. All right, we're gonna shut off the. Uh, we shut off the tractor, and I'm still not seeing any. Still not seeing any movement, so I'm not ex entirely sure what is going on here. Well, maybe this auger was a uh, poor purchase. Is that what we're coming to the conclusion of? Because I don't see it filling at any point. Maybe we'll have to do this by the bucket. Take the M and just load it up that way. This is sure not working, is it? <laughs> oh dear. Always trying something and always messing something up. That is not working one way or the other. I thought at some point it might scoop. But it does not appear so. That is fascinating. Alrighty. Well, I guess nothing left to do but to uh, figure out a different way to do this. This auger is wild. Anyway, looks like we're not selling oats, so you know what? We're just going to call that good enough. No sense in fighting it, right? I'm just going to say, yeah, welcome to Season 2, where uh, we're going to mess up a probably a few dozen more times and uh, figure stuff out together, just the way she goes. Alrighty, guys. Well, thanks a lot for watching to everyone, and uh, if you guys are looking at the title and you're like season two what is that or year two whatever i end up naming it 
Well, the thing is, uh, I go by uh, calendar years on the game, and uh, every year I try to build up the farm a little bit more. Obviously today we got that nice big chicken coop there. Soon we'll be putting in some birds. It'll be fantastic. But till then, I'm going to wish you guys a great rest of your day. And uh, hopefully we can see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.